But one of the things that's really interesting about Alex Len, and you know, we kind of mentioned this even before he started playing internationally this summer over the last month or so. But it's like, man, if if Len or even we were saying it like if Len or Holmes, if one of them could shoot threes, that's a real like that makes such a big difference in terms of like what this team could be able to do in terms of a backup center. And um man, uh in I don't remember how many performances it was, but uh this summer Alex Len shot extremely well. And at Eurobasket in particular, he shot I think thirty seven or thirty eight percent. Um, let me get up the stats, but point being, he, he was effective from three in Euro basket again. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how things translate, but it's just like, that's a physical game. You know, like a three is a three, like he's probably been working on it all summer and he's going right into camp with this. Um, I'm not saying he's going to come in and cause he had that one year in Atlanta where he shot, I think 38% from three. Um, I'm not saying he's going to come in and do that. Uh, but you know, he, he, he's an interesting guy. And again, this is more of a conversation of like heating up the competition. If he can hit threes, he makes the competition better. He makes things interesting. He makes things tough and doling out minutes. Doesn't necessarily mean he's going to get them, but it's a huge deal that Alex Lynn shot extremely well. I got the stats here. Finally, he shot, um, he shot 46.2% in the five group stage games in the one, uh, elimination round, uh, game he played in uh Eurobasket. He also played a few World Cup qualifiers, but I don't have all the stats in front of me right now. But at those in those six games on six he went six of thirteen. Um again that's not a huge sample size, but you're rolling into camp. It's an interesting thing. I mean Alex Len, I don't know. He's an interesting guy. Yeah, I like Len. Like I said, I think Len will make this roster. You carry three centers just because I do an NBA level player. Um, it'd just be dumb not to have him on the roster. He'll, he can provide valuable minutes, not, you know, like extremely like exceptional player, but you know, he can play that center position well enough where you're okay leaving him in if you need to. And uh, yeah, and just like Lynn, he's always been like that sneaky three point shooter. I think since he's been on, well, he was on the Kings last year. Um, was he on the Kings two years ago? I think it was just last year, right? And then he was on the Kings yeah. like two seasons before that. So it was like his second stint. But, mm-hmm. um, I mean, he only shot, I think I was looking at the stats a second ago, 28% from three last year. But um, I don't know. It, it, felt like he, it felt like he shot a lot higher personally. But if you look at his that season in Atlanta, I think it said 18-19 before he came to Sacramento, he mm-hmm. was shooting a career high in attempts on threes at 2.4 and he's shooting 36% from three. Yeah. yeah, 36%. And like every other year he's like averaging maybe like one, three a game, a little less. uh, Yeah. It's crazy. Looking at the totals. It's insane. I mean, not like it's a career high 204 attempts, but it's like never once has he shot more than, I mean, the second highest is 59 the next year. And it was not going well for him. He shot 27% that season. Yeah, but it's weird. And when, he, because- when he came to Sac and he was doing well in that little second half of the year, he only sh- went. He only shot three. He hit two of them, but he only shot three in the uh, fifteen games. Yeah, it's it's kind of odd, right? But it's like okay, maybe if you, you know, if like you tell him to shoot three, so he's gonna get a little more comfortable with it, and you know, maybe shoot the three ball a little better. I, I don't know. It was like the more op- threes he shoots, the better he is. The less he shoots, the worse he is. So maybe. You can experiment with Lynn a little. Maybe you throw him in that corner um, on some plays and try to run some threes for him and get his confidence up. Because if you get if you have a big guy who can shoot a three, I mean that's huge. And you know Lynn's a bruiser and he's that you know Ukrainian Eurobasket guy and you know he's gonna put in work down low and be physical. I mean that's great and all, and he can still do that. But I mean I think even more valuable is if he's seven feet and can hit that three and so i mean why not he, he he's he has at least that one season or he's proven that he can do that at a pretty decent clip for a center so mm-hmm. i think you i think you experiment it with experiment with it a little um yeah 
won't hurt you're anything. Gonna, you're yeah. going to find out pretty quickly what you're going to get out of it, you know? 